All right, we're about to talk about this right quick. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Now, as you guys may know, I have made a podcast talking about the young lady getting hit in the face with a brick. And she turns around and shames the black men that was there for not helping her. Now, it was at that point where I said, why not talk about the person that hit you? Like, would that be a little bit more important than shaming the men, black men, by the way, that was there for not helping you? <sighs> That's crazy. Now, in the original video, it says got hit in the face by a brick or with a brick because I wouldn't give him my phone number. And in that same video, she goes on to say that I got hit in the face with a brick because I wouldn't give him my phone number. Him, this mysterious man. Now my focus wasn't on the men that was there that didn't help. My focus was more so on her because of the fact that she started the camera and started talking about the incident past tense and was more upset at the persons or persons that was there and they didn't do a thing about it. But my thing is this, why not? record the fact that the guy that hit you why not try to get him on camera where is he he ran off you was able to get back up because i'm sure when you get hit in the face you you you're gonna lose balance at least right right i mean i i do watch a lot of boxing fights to see when somebody get clocked in the face real good they're gonna fall they, they're going to lose balance. I mean, I did a video on a young lady getting smacked in the face with a skateboard and she fell and she was out. This young lady was able to get back up. May, maybe disoriented, maybe shocked. And now she's focusing her anger to the, to, to the guys that was there. Now I was like, yo, you know, I, I, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of woofer there for a minute, but then I said to myself that I, I don't think, you know, some people is going to, you know, risk their situations to help another woman. I'm, I, I seen personally as coming up, you know, in the hood, you know, I seen men smack their women around. I seen women jump out of cars to get away from the abusive man with the man not too far behind her. I seen videos. I did a video about a man that was beating a woman down in the Houston streets. And there was a camera culture there recording it. And I said something to that part right there that yeah may, maybe instead of you recording maybe you should have called the police maybe you probably should have got up and got out because you know the guy that was beating the woman to death had a pole and then maybe you know but some some guys black or white it doesn't matter mexican doesn't matter some of them guys is not going to step in because nine times out of ten when you try to step in the focus would be on you by both parties they'll be like yo dude you just don't have nothing to do with you this this you know wait wait i'm i'm just trying to help i just talked to a young man that just did that very thing and got sued by both people the guy didn't win, but the woman did. And they stayed together after that incident. So my question to you guys, and I asked you before, if you see a woman in the situation, if you there, 
would you help would you would have stepped in i don't know but as the story continues through the internet people from the internet is picking this story apart bit by bit and i said that can you really believe the stuff on tiktok everything is a production on tiktok i said that i said that i i said that a lot of stuff on tiktok you really can't put in grass tags right there's productions we we've seen that we've seen skits we've seen we've seen male and female arguing over their kid but we come to find out that was a skit that wasn't real that was just to pull the heartstrings of the people so they could give to that woman that was being that was being tormented by the boyfriend by the baby father so you really can't put nothing in brass tacks when it comes to the internet or tiktok because now tiktok is a much easier way to make money and you can scam a lot of people along the way on tiktok now she made an elaborate production of getting hit in the face by a brick and now it comes to this person I, and i don't even know how to take this person for real for real i don't know how to take this person uh shout out to the mtr channel he was the one that got the got a hold of the recording of a young lady calling the Houston police to find out if there really was a police report made on behalf of Roe. I just saw something out there. Yes, hi. I wanted to check the status of a police report. An African American woman said that over a week ago she was assaulted with a brick by a black man and no one's been able to find this assailant. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that the police report was filed because we're concerned citizens. She said she made a police report, she made one. Okay. Um, the thing about it is she might've made that police report, but she's not telling us what the assailant looks like. So how does that help empower black women who might be in the Houston area? Is what I'm saying, because the police department is not giving us any information as well. Even if she did go to you guys and file the report, how come you guys are not updating your sites on what we need to be looking for? I mean, a man assaulted a woman for saying no to her, um, him asking her for a number. I think we should know at least what the guy looks like so we can be on alert and help out. Very fair. So we're just making sure this isn't a hoax because she keeps giving people updates, but not telling us anything about the assailant. If I was attacked with a brick, I'm going to tell you he's tall with dreads, gold teeth. We have nothing but her saying she filed a police report and that's not enough for us. Okay. And this incident happened over a week and a couple days ago and we still don't know nothing. I just want to confirm that it is an investigation going on. She couldn't even tell us that much. Anyone can file a police report, but how does that empower the next black woman who could be a victim of this man with the brick? That's all I'm saying. Okay. What's her last name? Osmond, O-S-M-A-N. What's her first name? Rhoda, R-O-D-A. She went live on TikTok September the 3rd to let everyone know that she was assaulted. So that's how long this case has been, and we know nothing. And I just want to make sure my family is safe. That's all. Yes, because her being a black woman saying that there's a man going around assaulting black women for not giving up their phone number, that's pretty dangerous. And in my, in, and in my history, anyone that's ever been assaulted, they give you a description of a, of a person. We know nothing of what this black man looks like. We just know he's black. And that's just not enough for us when it's been almost a week and a few days. So you can say you filed the police report, but can you at least tell us what we need to be on the lookout for? So if we see this individual, we can call it in and help you. That's all. She has no information, so there's no way you know the 
So is that why you guys haven't been able to report anything to the public? Because you guys don't have enough That's detail? Correct. If she don't give any information, how are we supposed to go find somebody? That is very true, ma'am. And I'm sorry that, that that's happening. Is there anything we can do as the public um, to help her? Because we, we're just concerned. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do for her, but pray for her. But pray for her? Okay. Okay. And I'm sorry, ma'am. I know that there's other people out there who are in more serious situations. I'm just a black woman myself. And I want to make sure this black woman is protected because she says she's not getting the protection from men and police like she's supposed to. But how are you guys supposed to protect her when, you, when she's not giving you guys right. details? Right. So I'm That's with you, ma'am. I'm with you. You're doing a great job. <laughs> well, ma'am, you, you have. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but you're wonderful. And, and, and the reason why I, I do these checks is because oh a lot of women do like to go viral. And they like to create a story that didn't exist. And last year, I exposed 11 African-American women who lied to get GoFundMe donations and things like that. So this woman here Damn. not only went viral on TikTok, but a page called The Shade Room posted her story. And it allowed her to garner $42,000 from, from people. So when we started asking for details, that's when she kind of backed off and went rogue. And if you're a real... And, and guess what? I'm, I'm not sure to go into details. That's the same thing, the same thing she did when I was asked what's going on. No. See, <laughs> and so, and, and me, and me, uh, you know, I, I have four college degrees, two are in criminal justice. I said to her, if you were really assaulted, you would give us a description unless it never happened. So she blamed the whole race of black men and then told us two days ago that she did file a police report with you guys, giving you details. So then we asked her, what does the guy look like? Then she goes rogue again. So I knew she was lying. And I know you can't tell me everything, but I appreciate what you've told me thus far. You're a blessing. Young lady that was hit in the face. Her name is Ro Reports. And her GoFundMe that she did, and this is like her third one, but this one right here garnered a cool 45K. Do you agree with the young lady making the call? Because I feel some kind of way about that. I, I really do. I mean yeah yeah but it is what it is but because of this young lady making a claim that the money that she got could be fraudulent and now there's an investigation from gofundme into rose situation now again i say this is 2023 this is the era of the camera culture everybody has cell phones hell the new iphone 15 just came out with an excellent camera you can't tell me that nobody now the only thing i could probably shame about the black man that was there it was that the fact that nobody recorded the incident oh man let me get my phone now i gotta get this up on world star seems to me world star didn't get it it was the shade room i believe they got it she must have sent it to them but nobody else came out with any recording there wasn't no recording from the club where she was at no street recordings nobody that was there recordings including the guy that came on and claimed that he was there maybe he was part of the elaborate production yeah i was there i seen the guy hit her with a brick i didn't do nothing nobody didn't want to jump in yada 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 i got my kid that i gotta look out for yada 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 if i would do it again maybe yada 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 but do you have footage sir you didn't show no footage of you was there because if you was you would have pulled out your camera and said as such questions comments concerns y'all already know what to do me big cheese got it locked